<sighs> Fix it. Hey, y'all. Happy Friday. I promise I won't keep y'all long. I am like trying to play around with some camera setups and things like that. But hey, y'all. Happy Friday. As y'all saw tonight, we are going to be doing one of the sublimation hacks using DTF powder. And so hopefully that shouldn't take us too long. But I am going to switch over to the table because I finished setting everything up the way that I wanted it to be set up. I'm not going to be using multiple cameras, but hey, y'all, I'm happy to be here with y'all. I needed this today because I am one hot mess today. All right, y'all. So today we are going to be doing um sublimation hack but i do want to say hey to a few of y'all so thank you for being here let me know if you hear echo that's what i'm trying to, to work on and fix but it never works out for me but hey y'all we have a lot to discuss <laughs> oh but i see we have a new member first Welcome, Miss Carol Coleman. I'm glad that you are here. Thank you for joining our channel. I hope that you enjoy it. And if you are on Facebook, um, because I'm doing both Facebook and YouTube tonight, if you're on Facebook, you will have to give StreamYard access to your name. Um, if not, I will not be able to see who I'm speaking with. If that's fine with you, that's totally fine with me. But hey, both YouTube and Facebook. So let's see, y'all, last week this time, I was having the time of my life with some of you in Charlotte at the Graphics Pro Expo. Well, last week, Friday, we were actually hanging out with Eve. And that was amazing. If you missed this expo, don't worry, there are going to be other expos and conventions and different things like that, and maybe some possible meet and greets that we will be um, attending also. And so just know that I can't wait to meet y'all, but we had such a good time. Everybody had a great time. Everybody was so nice and friendly. So yeah, I had a good time. But there was so there was just so much information and so many different products to look at and we got tons of samples. I think one place, oh I got a y'all, I got a call flip because we did not um divide up the uh, laser items that I got from was that GSW that I got all those laser products from and we did not divide it up and so I need to get at her. But hey, Montgomery, happy Friday. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Karen. Hey, Roslyn. Hey, Miss Tracy. Y'all, Miss Tracy did a vlog the other day, and she and Miss Merlinda Lacey, Miss Merlinda Lacey is always here too. They met up and they were at a vinyl shop like they were just doing like going different places looking at different things and i loved seeing that so definitely head over and check that out if you need any inspiration um but it's good to see two crafting sisters hanging out together hey carol Hey, Tamika. Tamika, girl, I keep pulling up your file, and it's always something that happens. Like today, y'all, at school, this whole week, so this whole week we had um, rush week for clubs and activities. And so, of course, I had to get, like, a best buddy table and everything for my kids to try to recruit some more buddies. And y'all... Every day was something, then today, the last day, of course, it has to be a whole hot mess, but I survived, we all survived, and that's what matters most. It was an actual situation. <laughs> hey, Nini, welcome. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Stacy. Hey, Janita. Hey, Janita. Hey, Chris. So, Eve had... Um, 
Eve was on live a few minutes ago. I don't know if she's still on live, but she was on live like not too long ago. And of course she had on her bling shirt, which made me want to bling something, but we are not going to bling anything. We are just gonna go over the process. I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what we're gonna be using um, tonight. And we're gonna try to get through with this because I actually have a best buddies training tomorrow at 11. So I need to um, just get my mind ready for that. And I'm still like a little bit trying to recuperate from like the past few weeks. But hey, y'all, what are you guys working on tonight? What are y'all doing? So if you are in a Facebook group or if you see the community post or the community tab, you guys saw that I took a picture of a um, Recoma 15 needle embroidery machine that's inside of my school. Y'all, I am so excited about this. So it's been stuck in a corner for about three years and it's not because they did not want to use it. The thing is, is that y'all know the big C happened within like right after they got it, the big C um, happened. And so of course everything was shut down. And so by the time, and then that last year when we got back, things are still, you know, we were still under certain restrictions and things like that. And so this year, everything is pretty much back um, back up and running. And so my school is a magnet school and we have so many different programs for our students. And one of the programs is like a graphics, communications type of um, program. Well, they are able to get funding for different machines and different things for that particular magnet program. And so one of the machines that they purchased, like they have a DTG machine, they have a um, screen printing machine. And if you don't know, um, I have another channel called Craft Abilities that I actually record from uh, my friend Terrell's classroom. So we set up a craft room inside of his classroom. He teaches a special needs class. And so we set up a craft room inside the classroom. And so we have vinyl cutters, we have um, heat press, we have a sublimation printer in there. And so it's really just to help um, our students with special needs, more so like cognitive disabilities. But I do have some of my students who have like learning disabilities or other health impairments, and they do come in and we are providing them with training. And so like all the stuff that we do for Best Buddies is definitely gonna be in house. Um, we placed the order or we didn't place the order. The cheerleaders placed an order with us for their shirts and different things like that. And so all of the funds for that would go towards the classroom and for our students in that program. And so I said all that to say, that is why I'm very excited. The school cannot give me a 15 needle machine because it just doesn't work like that. Everything in the school has to be accounted for to the dime that was purchased with taxpayers money. I would never even want to even take that with me, but it's in the school. And so I can use it. And I'm really excited about that because I'm excited about showing my students. Um, if you guys don't know, I do work at an inner city school. And so I'm really excited about being able to show them how to use um, to use the machine, how to learn a different skill, because we do have students who go to college and then we have a lot of students that choose not to go to college. And so my goal, and that's why I even started the craft room inside of the school, is to show students other ways that they can make a living or you know, if it's something that they want to try, they can. And so that is the reason why we do it. And so I think embroidery would be an awesome skill for them to learn. I'm really excited. I've already contacted Recoma because what happens with Recoma, um, when you purchase one of their machines, you they advise you not to operate the machine until you've gotten training for the machine. So once you get your machine, 
you'll set up uh, based on their schedule and your schedule you'll set up a day for training um right now i guess i don't know if they're doing in-person trainings or just virtual only now but they used to have in person um but they also have virtual and that's what you have to do you have to set up the training you know that way and then they advise you to begin to operate your machine. If you don't follow those steps, that could void your warranty. And so while I was super excited to see the machine, and even though it was three years old, I was like, you know what, there's something it has to be done. Like, let me contact them. And for those of you who don't know, I do work closely with Racoma. Um, also, their Deco Summit will be in about two weeks here in Miami, Florida. Um, October 7th through the 9th, I will be attending that and I will be on their panel. And I'm really excited about, about that. But I did contact them and Racoma um, will be providing training. So I'm very glad that, I mean, I'm glad that I didn't touch it, but I'm probably still going to be touching it because I will be there for that training. Y'all know I will be there for that training. But that is, um, that's the case with the machine. I'm really excited. Um, the person who operates that program is very excited. And yeah, so we have a lot of things that we're going to be showing on the Craft Abilities channel. So make sure y'all check out Craft Abilities. But hey, y'all. So I said all that. Evie. Hey, Evie. Hey, everybody. Hey, Barbara Fond. Says you McGrath. All y'all. Hey, Delanda. Hey, girl. Y'all, Delanda is over there kicking a butt and taking names while she's doing it. But yeah, y'all, let me scroll all the way down. I'm so sorry, y'all, but y'all know how I get. I get to talking and talking. But I just wanted to clear that up and let y'all know um, about the Racoma. They even have a DTG printer. And so I was speaking with the teacher in that um, class, and they um, he's, he is looking for something a little more than that, too, because they teach the, the students a lot of different skills. And they have like a four station screen printing um, machine that Terrell is really excited about using y'all. He swears that he used to be a screen printer back in the day when he was in high school. So <laughs> he can't wait for that. But that is going to be fun. Hey, Angel, hey, Stacey, I think I said hey to you, but hey, everybody. Welcome in. Oh, it was a lot. I'm so sorry, y'all. I just had to scroll. Y'all have been talking in here. I'm, I'm down to the bottom. And the first last comment I see is Miss Cheryl. <laughs> hey, Miss Cheryl. <laughs> I know in my head there's more than 24 hours, but we all know that that's not true. I'm feeling I'm feeling it today. I don't know if y'all can tell, but my eyes are pretty heavy today. Hey, Miss Linda. Hey, Phil. Hey. Hey, unbiased, Miss Rachel. But y'all, I had such a good time. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be printing today. Um, we are printing, if you guys don't know, September is Gynecological Cancer Awareness Month. And so we are going to be making a shirt. I do want to make a shirt for that before October comes. And I just want to show you guys a few things. We are going to be making this inside of, um, well, we're not making anything. I purchased these files from um, from Etsy. So we are just going to make, because I purchased them from Etsy because sadly on Creative Fabrica, and you guys know I love Creative Fabrica, there were not a lot of designs to choose from for gynecological cancer awareness. Um, and also for design bundles. I mean, they had ovarian cancer. I think they had some cervical cancer. But I just wanted the blanket um, for all gynecological cancers. And so I did find a little bit of some situations on Etsy, but still not. But we are going to turn it into um, gynecological cancer, um, a gynecological cancer design. So let's get going. I promise you guys tonight is not the night. I, I do not think that I will be on here that long. So we are going to go into, I'm going to share my entire screen. So we're about to go into a tunnel. So I'm sorry about that, but we have to get to the tunnel because I have to show you guys the whole screen. Hey, Mayor Bear. 
Hey, could it be? Hey, friend. Hey, Danny. Y'all, I met like half of these people on here. Y'all, I met them this weekend. I like it was such a good, a good time. It really was a good time. Like getting to see everybody and know everybody. Love and Live show was there. All right, y'all, like, girl, hurry up. We did not come here for all of this. All right, so let's go ahead and import. We're gonna import a few designs. So I'm not really going to. I'm gonna make the shirt, but. I am going to, um, I'm actually going to use this sh a shirt that we've already like practiced on. It's my practice shirt. We're going to use that so you guys can just see the process. So let me go ahead and place our image. And so the files that I purchased, um, some of them were like bundles on Etsy. And so some were uh, SVG and some were PNG. I'm going to pull in the SVGs because the SVGs, we can kind of change the color a little bit easier than the PNG files. So let's see, this one is just, all right, this is two. So I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to upload this one just because I want to see how that color is going to look. A lot of people ask me like, how does it look on a color like how does it look on black and remember with a lot of dtf printing even though we're doing sublimation but with a lot of dtf printing um or all mostly all of it you have a white layer on the back of the print and so that's what helps it to be able to pop onto black that's what makes it be able to stand out is that white layer of ink it, it blankets the entire design and so with sublimation you guys know we can't do that even this design right here that fight it's just going to be the color of the, the uh, material that i'm using let's see i'm gonna make this a little bigger right now we're inside of adobe illustrator and i am going to be printing this from adobe illustrator onto um onto a piece of film i'm going to show you guys the film the powder i'm going to show you guys everything that we're going to be using i just want to get this to start printing and if i have any issue with printing it then um i just want to get that troubleshoot it i'm just measuring this little piece and i'm just putting it on this piece of um fabric all right, let's see the other design that we're going to pull in. And so this is a PNG. So the issue with this is that could we kind of recolor this? This is almost next to impossible to like actually um, trace it and then pull out the colors that you want and then change it to the color, color that you need it to be. So we're just going to leave this like this. So let's pull in another design and so i am going to pull in um now can you do this with your uh cricut or cricut design space you can you can change the color of svgs if you guys want me to show you how you change the color like when you get an svg oh you and and you can turn it into a png file all within inside of cricut design space i can show you um I'll show you how to do that. But for the purpose of this, you don't need Cricut to or Cricut Design Space to print out a sublimation print. Unless you're trying to do, um, like if you're trying to print it on Easy Subly or Clear HTV or any, like, or the DTV, then you may want to do that. But you don't have to do it for this. All right, let's see. I don't necessarily know what I want, which one I want. There were so many. Um, I don't know if this is a good SVG. Let's see. Hmm. So this is an SVG, so we can change the colors, but I don't like that. Well, I like that one, but I don't necessarily want that one. And so we are going to... Let's find another one. Um, that fighter one was good. Uh, let's see what this one does. All right, let's try this one. This is simple, right? 
it's simple and i'm just going to open up my properties panel so i can see the size now the size sheet that we're going to be printing it on is a 13 by 19 and it's a film it's not a piece of paper we're not printing this on sublimation even though we're going to be using sublimation ink today i am using my epson eco tank 15000 and that is the one that we're using is filled with sublimation ink and that's what we're going to be um the ink we're going to be using with the film that we typically use for DTF printing. Okay, so we're going to be printing on DTF film, but using sublimation ink. And right now, this is an 11. Oh, we can make a tad smaller because we're just testing. This is just a test, y'all. This is this is just a test. All right, so let's. Leave it here. And so what we're going to do is I am going to select the teal that is in the center. So the ribbon that's a teal. So everything that's a teal is probably a compound path already. And so let me click onto it. And so that double click opened up the next group. And this is the next group. So as you guys see, the fill is teal. teal and so that's why everything is selected. Our boundary box is around what we're going to change. Now, I'm just going to change the color. And so I'm going to go over here to the color palette. And then we want it to be purple because gynecological cancer is purple. There are several different types of gynecological cancer. Many people don't know about that. This particular color is for ovarian cancer. The teal is typically for ovarian cancer. Then they have like a teal with a white um, part of the ribbon. I think that one's cervical cancer. They have different colors. But the generic color for gynecological cancers is purple even though there's several other underneath like that's you know that's like the mother or gynecological mother I, let's go okay so let's pick purple i'll make that purple i think i like that purple that purple looks good right so we're gonna leave it like that now because i'm just doing a test we're gonna just go with it like this. But, you know, I might wanna say underneath here, gynecological cancer awareness month, something like that. We could, you know, we could say whatever it is that we wanna say. But this is what we have right now. And so I am gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna lift this up here. And so what I have experienced though with doing sublimation with the DTF powder is that sometimes it can cause streaks um, the, or roller marks. And so that kind of causes like a little streaking. So we're gonna see if that happens to us tonight. I'm not even sure if this is gonna print out without me putting some painter's tape on the back, but we are going to test it out. All right, so let's get ready and see. I promise you guys, I'm not trying to keep you guys long. All right, so we're gonna print. And then I just need to change the printer. So right now it looks like it is, we don't want any printer. We're gonna change this to our sublimation printer. And I am going to be doing a Super B, which is the 13 by 19. So if you don't see all of these settings that I'm gonna show you now, that means that you need to um, download the rest of your drivers. Sometimes even if you do one download with your, uh, printer of the drivers and everything and you think you got them all, sometimes you don't always get it all. So that could be why. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay. All right, so here we have, this is what we're gonna be printing. I'm wasting a whole sheet of DTF film for this tonight. I don't have anything else to print on here. And neither do I want to print anything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and change this printer from the Eco Solvent to Sublimation. And then we are going to go into Setup. I'm going to click Continue. And now I want to change my print settings. So I'm going to click on that drop down. And I'm still going to leave this at plain paper, bright white. And then print quality, we are going to adjust that to quality. And then I still need to mirror it because it's printing on the back side of the film. So I still need to mirror it. Next, I am going to click color options. 
and then go to advanced settings and I'm going to change the mode from Epson Vivid to Adobe RGB and we're going to leave that at a 2.2 gamma. Let's see what that looks like. Now let's get ready to print this out. That was pretty quick y'all. Let's see if it prints. If it doesn't print, I'm going to switch us back over so you guys can see how I am going to get it to print. It's about to beep. Let's see. I knew it was going to beep. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. Hold on. Let me remove this stream. It came all the way out. So we're good. this is the trick that I'm going to use to get it done, y'all. All right. Let me remove that. And so I'm going to show y'all what I do. I'm going to switch over to the craft table. Craft table, like craft a bowl. Craft bowl. All right. So here we are on our table. And hopefully you guys can see that very good. Oh, great. I don't want to pull it out, but it's like stuck in there. I'm going to pull it out. Let's hope. Let's hope I didn't just break it. All right. So now we can look at the film. So this is the film. I had another piece to kind of show you guys. So this is the film that we use. As you see, you can see through it, right? Um, it's very important to print it on the right side. So one side has a coating and that's what makes the ink like really just kind of like stick to it, even though that ink is wet. So you don't really want to touch it. But one side has like a coating on it. If you can like scratch the coating, on the side on that side then that's the side that you want to print on right so now i know that i want to put my tape on this side so i'm just going to take some painter's tape this should do the, this should do the trick for us so we're going to see but now that i'm on live it may not but we shall see so this is just regular painter's tape and this is what i typically do um when i'm using the um, printer that I converted into DTF. The new DTF printer, y'all, has been working beautifully. I have not had any issues with it whatsoever. It was, oh, I was about to say, what did I do with that tape? So I'm just putting this, remember I flipped this onto the back side and I'm just printing this, I'm just putting this onto the back of the, the sheet, right? You don't want your tape to really like hang over or anything like that because that's not good for your, um, your printer. You don't want anything to get stuck in the printer. So I'm just putting it there. And so when I get ready to put it in, I'm going to put it in this way so that way the printer will be able to read it a little bit better or at least see the paper so this is this paper well it's not paper it's a film and as you guys see you can kind of like see through it right well regular paper so this is regular paper and this is the film but you see the regular paper is solid and then this one is, you know, it's see-through. We can see the line. You can't see the line. So that's a big difference. Hey, two and or four, Naomi. Okay. It's rushing me. Yeah. I usually don't have, like, with the regular um, paper, I usually don't have an issue with, like, with the sublimation paper. I only print from the rear feed, so I rarely have any issues with regular paper. Only time I do is if I rush and I don't put it in correctly. You know how it has like that, um, when you extend it, extend the rear tray out, and it kind of, it's supposed to kind of like, like go like that, like a certain angle. Yeah, that's the only time I really have an issue. Hey, D. Smith. 
Um, we are making a sublimation and DTF or sublimation hack. So I'm just gonna put this back in here and we're gonna we're gonna print. I just gotta make sure I put it in the right way, y'all. Because right now I'm not. And so, of course, you want to make sure that the tape is facing the back. I'm going to go ahead and click next, and hopefully that will clear that jam, which it should. So, again, nope, we're still getting the jam situation. Hold on, y'all. I hope it comes out all the way this time. Nope, it did not come out all the way this time. Come on, come on, help me out. All right, let's see if this works now. We might go to the smaller one. Do I have it in right? I think I do. I think I do. Let's see if it prints this one. All right, I tried to print it without the paper, but we may end up trying it with the 2750. All right. And probably to, don't, you really shouldn't pull your paper out from the front. Like I'm pulling, I'm actually pulling the paper out from the front. You should never pull paper out from the front like that, but guess what, it's okay. Yes. Hold on. There's not the paper. I'm putting some other sheets behind it just to make it a little more solid. Go for it one more time. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. I gotta print it again. Let me make sure because I turned the printer off and back on. Set up. Continue. Just making sure the settings did not change. And they did not. All right. Let's see now. If not, I'm just gonna try a smaller sheet and print it from, but I don't have an eight and a half by, by 11 to print on. That's the only problem. So I don't know. All right, it's printing now. So let's see what happens. Oh, so I was gonna show you guys. So this is the, DTF um, powder. And so I got this powder from Big Boy Prints. This powder comes in white and or black, but Big Boy Prints sells this on his website. And this is DTF transfer adhesive powder. You guys will see how we use it, but that's what we, we are gonna be using. Let me turn on our heater and I'm going to turn on the press. It's actually printing pretty fast because we didn't have many colors that we used, as you guys saw. Okay. 
right, so again, you guys saw the film that we're, we're using and it's transparent. So sometimes it's hard for the sensor to pick up this, but that's what we're gonna use. And this is what the powder looks like. We're just gonna use this powder. This is like my powder box or whatever you call it. <laughs> but this is the powder box. For those of you who may be new to DTF or you just do sublimation and you're really, you know, you're interested in this hack, that's awesome. That's great. But the thing is, is that you have to be um, careful when using DTF um, powder and when it cures because the fumes, you don't want to cure this in your oven at home. Um, I use a dedicated Typically, I use a dedicated convection oven, but my convection oven, um, as of now, I've just been using the um, curing oven that I got recently with my DT. Oh, you know, the same thing happened. I meant to catch this before it fell on the floor. Oh, no, I meant to catch it before it fell. I knew that was going to happen. So let me show y'all. So it fell on the floor. I'm not wasting another sheet, but it fell on the floor. And so it did a little scratch. I don't know if you guys could see that really well. But it fell. I meant to catch it before. So the printer's kind of high. And I have it extended out all the way, even with the other tray up. But this is so flimsy that it just fell. I'm not happy about that, y'all. I am not happy. But guess what? It's just a test, so it's okay. But you want to make sure that you have on gloves when you're handling um, the DTF powder. And you also want to make sure you have on a mask when you are um, curing it because it releases fumes that are not healthy or the best for you. Or you want to, and you also want to make sure you're in a ventilated area. So yes, this hack looks amazing, but you really should do it responsibly. For people who do DTF, this is like a common thing that that we have. And I sometimes, like if I'm just doing one um, DTF print or something like that, I'm, oh, you know, it's fine, but it's really not fine. You should always wear it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and get these gloves on for now. And I'm gonna put my little mask on. And y'all, I promise you, we are almost done. Hey, Fifi. Hey, Strength from Within. Hey, Bohemian Beauty. I didn't see what you're gonna, are you trying this out? So yeah, y'all, I'm just trying to get these gloves on. I'm using reusable. Well, they're not really reusable gloves, but yeah. Yeah, exactly to it or for Naomi. I was trying to stay like kind of close to it so I could snatch it when it was done. But in true Patrice fashion, I was talking and completely forgot about what it was that I was doing. <laughs> what I wanted to do at least, but it's okay. I got sweet tea tonight, so all is well in the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this mask on because it is very important for you guys to be safe when doing this. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so here's our print that we have, right? So this is what it looks like. And so what we're going to do is we are going to put some powder. We're going to put a little bit of powder on here. And... I'm just gonna, uh -uh. this is the powder. Again, this powder came from Big Boy Prince. I'm just gonna put a little bit of powder. It doesn't take much. You wanna do this while it is wet. You don't wanna let it dry. If it dries, you're not gonna get the results that you want, all right? So do not let the ink dry. To cure this, you can also place it underneath um, your heat press, right? I know I said 
I do it in my convection oven. I did, now I have a, a curing um, oven that came with my DTF printer, but so I'm just gonna go. And then like with any like DTF print, you just kind of roll it down. And of course I see the areas that really messed up when I dropped it, but it's okay. Y'all get the point. All right, and so this is, that's it. And you shake it off, but you don't want to touch your ink because it is still wet. All right, so this is what it looks like. It looks like a whole bunch of sand. I don't know if you guys can really see this sandy look, but it kind of looks like a whole bunch of sand on the back. Hey, Valerie E. Hey, Liz. All right, so I'm going to put this inside. Oh, uh-oh. So we got to wait a few minutes because uh, we got to wait a few minutes because the temperature that I have it set on is, I think, 140 degrees. Um Celsius. Oh, y'all, my hair. Look, uh -uh. I got it. it's like going all over the place with that mask. All right, so the temperature that I have it set for is 140 degrees Celsius, and so it's still warming up. The heat press actually, and we're using the HTV Ront Auto Press. The heat press actually um, warmed up to 300 and 80 degrees quicker than our curing station. So, hey, Lynetta. Yeah. But what are y'all working on? I did not even see what any of you guys are working on. We are actually almost done. This is the shirt that we're going to be testing testing on. Right, let me. I'm going to switch over so you guys could kind of see. And I'm going to remove the table for now. And then I'll switch us over here. All right, so this is the shirt that we're going to be testing on. Some of y'all might remember this shirt. Some of y'all might not. I hope you guys could hear me with my back turned to the mic. But this is the shirt that we're just going to be testing on this shirt. Of course, there's some bling on this shirt. I really want to do some bling tonight, but I'm not. I'm going to go get some rest. But look at y'all. Look at that bling. But that's what we're going to be um, testing. I think I'm just going to either put it in the center or on the back. All of this was DTF. Like, this was DTF. Remember, y'all, we did the DTF with the rhinestones, and those rhinestones came off. Most of those rhinestones came off in the first wash. I only tried it one time. This is also DTF. And, of course, our bling. <laughs> Oh, Liz, enjoy. Go, you better enjoy. All right, we still got a few more minutes to um, to do that. But I'm going to set this under the heat press. And so this is the heat press. I should bring you guys closer to the heat press, though. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring you guys closer to the heat press so you can see it. Let me move it for a little bit. And some covers that I lost my mojo. But I hope you get it after hanging with us for a little bit, Bonetta. I hope you get it back. I forgot I have the, what you call it, the power cord attached over here to the, what you call it. I don't know. But as you guys see, this is the oven that we're going to be putting the, um, the sheet in. It looks like it's it's about ready. We, um, I can I feel good putting it in here now. But this is the curing oven that we're using tonight. Uh oh. And of course, I have this huge sheet, so I need to cut it. The one thing with that curing oven, it does not fit the thirteen by nineteen size. And so I'm just gonna cut it. Cut it down a bit. 
that's what I'm going to do. Cut it down just a little bit. But so far, even though my new DTF printer can print um, 13, 13 inches wide, I've still only been using the 11 inch. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put this in. And there is a timer on here. So if I click start, the timer will count down. I'm just trying to see if you guys can like really see that good. I can't even tell. Let's see. No, you can't. You can't see it good. Yeah, no. I'm about to give up on that. <sighs> oh. I can't decide which of the, I know, I know, I can't decide, I cannot decide. So I should have on my mask right now, y'all, because it's in the, in the curing station. Now they do have like a filter that you can um, attach to the top of this curing station, which will suck in all of those fumes. I need to get that. I'm just going to put it here like this, y'all. Miss Rosin's making a diaper cake. No, I actually left it in the oven. I usually, like, I'm scared to take it out, actually, because I'll take it off because I was scared I was going to mess up the print. Too long for me. That's fine. But typically, I would suggest taking it off. Might sip some coffee and suddenly, like, girl, you go, girl, Liz. Have a nice, relaxing evening. Hey, Jeffrey's Angel. Hey, Sharon Davenport. I don't think I saw you earlier. Hey, Robin. Well, Robin, you fit in here. Trust me. You, you definitely fit in here. Hey, Jose. Yes, so... That's but I'm in here right now, so I got on this mask. Uh, I'm just scrolling up, Miss Ruth. Hey, Miss Ruth. Yo, I had such a good time. Hey, Miss Craft Creations and Bahamian Beauty. I had such a great time last week at Graphic Pro Expo. It was really, really a good time. I can't wait for the next event where we're all hanging out and having a good time together. Just being able to meet some of y'all was the highlight. I think that that was the highlight. I really only went because because of Eve and like everything that she was putting together. And y'all, even though we didn't have packs and combos on Friday last week, Eve had me some sweet tea at her event Sweet tea from Duncan. Y'all, that tea was so sweet. <laughs> yeah, I need some sweet tea from Duncan, y'all. She's so classy. Hey, East Dude. Hey, Josie Boo. Happy Friday. Hey, M. Blackwood. And Faces Creations. So you guys see a feet, right? All right, so, oh, my mask is falling down, falling apart, I'm gonna have to get it back. Okay, 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 okay. You gotta press it. So what I think, y'all, I'm so not happy. I'm so sad about this, y'all. I'm really sad about this. All right, so one thing I noticed though with with this printing it this way is that there aren't as many fumes. So I don't know if when the DTF powder is with the DTF ink, if it causes like more fumes, but definitely less fumes. Going down to a new. Hey, Martha. Hey, girl. I look like a mad woman tonight. I need perfect sugar to water ratio. I was slightly. <laughs> Eve, I, I loved it. 
I, I loved it. Dip the key. So just put it on. I'm gonna have Liz. Now I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm gonna switch back over to the crab table, which the crab table kind of look a little messy. No, it's fine. All right. So this is what we have, right? So now, as you guys see, that curing station. It's like it activated that ink already a little, right? I don't know if you guys remember, before we put it in the curing oven, it was not like this bright, if you guys can even tell, but it was not. So, which makes me think that I don't really have to leave it under the press for like 40 seconds or so, because I'm thinking that, you know, it should be fine. But, so this one printed out really good. As you guys can see, like there's no streaks or anything around it. And if you were here when this came out of the printer, y'all know that I let it drop out of the printer onto the floor. So some of that ink messed up a bit, but that's what we have. Now this one has streaks on top of streaks on top of streaks. So what I've done in the past, like when I've done it, I've just like cut it off. And then with this, I don't know if you guys can tell, once you put that powder on that ink, you can really just scrape off like what you don't want. So you can look all those like the streaks, I can just scrape it off and just make sure you brush it off of your, your page. Cause if not, remember that's still adhesive, but you can literally like take this off. I've also taken, taken it off with um, an alcohol Q-tip or even like an alcohol wipe. Just make sure that you don't touch the part that you want to press into the shirt. But it's really, really that simple. Like you can, because at first when I had streaks, I tried to take streaks off before I cured it. And then I realized that it was just easier to take the streaks off like after curing it because, you know. don't have to really worry about messing up any of the other wet ink. So let's go ahead. We are going to get ready and press these onto the shirt. And I'm going to put this onto like a yellow shirt just so that we can see how it looks. If it's a color shirt. Now remember, this is white. This is not white ink. Because this is sublimation, this is just clear. Like, that's just film right there. So whatever you press it into, that's what color it's going to be. So remember, if you have any white and you're doing this, any white in your design, it is not going to print, you know, print white. Because sublimation, we don't have white. Now, if you get DTF, you will have white. So I'm just going to take this off. And I'm being really careful because I don't want this to peel up any of the designs. Our heat press is still going. Uh-oh. I'm making a mess. And so some of this ink is from when I pulled, if you're here, y'all know I've like pulled that uh, paper or this paper out of the printer. And so you never really want to pull it out of the printer, but I did. So here are our two designs. We're going to be pressing this one. Did I make it too big? No. So we're going to press this onto here. And we're going to press the butterfly onto the white shirt. Okay. So let me switch back over. Hey, Kim. Hey, AJ. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. So, y'all, we are just going to, I am going to, oh, y'all got a close-up shot of my tea. I guess my tea wanted some attention tonight. So don't forget when you're doing this, you are still dealing with sublimation, okay? And so because you're still dealing with sublimation, you still need to treat it as such. So we are going to, I have a piece of butcher paper at the bottom, right? And some of y'all may not know, but I actually messed up my mat because I was pressing, um, I was pressing a bag and on the back of the bag, I actually had um, a sublimation or a sublimated image. And I was putting something on the front and I forgot to put my butcher paper underneath. And guess what? 
even though, and I was doing DTF, I wasn't subbing on the front. I was doing DTF on the front. So the ink, you know, the temperature was low, maybe like 325. Y'all, it still activated that ink on the back. So make sure no matter what your ink or what your heat, your temperature is, make sure that you always have something to protect your your press or the parts of your press. That's not too bad. I can get another one, another low mat to go underneath there. And so I'm just gonna give it a light press. Don't put a bunch of paper, not a bunch of paper, that's why. I know it's just a parchment. But I don't want that to really touch. Should I push it down? Oh, there it goes. All right, so I'm just going to press it for a few seconds um, just to heat it up a bit. And then we'll see how this turns out. Hopefully, it turns out fine. All right, so. All right, so this is good. Now I am going to, now I have it at 380 degrees and that's really just because I, you know, when I first did it, like I was like, you know, it needs, that ink needs to be activated. But honestly, with it being inside of the, let me see if I can add this one. You guys can see. With it being inside of the, um, underneath that curing station, it's like that ink got activated already. So it's pretty dark. Even though my purple don't look purple, so we're gonna see, I'm gonna leave it pretty hot. So let's go ahead and we're gonna put this here. And I am going to, no, I'm gonna put a piece of butcher paper. Even though I don't think that it's gonna come Here's my new butcher paper. I should have more butcher paper somewhere. I need a piece of paper for now because I don't know if a piece of butcher paper is not going to do anything. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this under. And I don't think I'm going to let it go for the entire 45 seconds. I thought I had it at 40 seconds, but I probably kept going too much or so. <laughs> Terrell, why are you here, Terrell? But yeah, let's see how this turns out. I don't really think I need to leave it on there for that long. In fact, I it probably could do just fine with it being at the regular uh, settings. So I'm going to stop it at 40 seconds and then we're going to pull it out and so I'm going to let it cool off. We're going to let it cool off a little bit and then now we're going to go ahead and try to do the yellow. So I'm just going to let it cool off just like I would any other um, like DTF print. We're going to let it cool off. So let's go ahead and press the other Yeah, that is the strength. That is the Juliet by Caesar. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and now we're gonna do it on yellow. So I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna put my same paper, even though it did not really, you know, nothing really happened, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how this goes. I didn't take anything down. We're just, we're just going for it. What's the Wakanda challenge? What's is that for designing a shirt for the movie? All right, I think this might be cool enough. It feels like it is. So we're gonna take this off very carefully. I'm gonna switch over. I'm gonna add this here. So we're gonna take this off. And we're just gonna pull it. Now it's cool. So we're gonna pull 
And so you still see the streaks where I didn't, you see where I dropped it and got a little piece of hair on it. Y'all, that drop really hurt us. That's what I don't, I'm not happy about it. But you just pull it off. And so that is the first. And so on here, as you guys see, that's what's left on the film. But on the actual shirt, the color looks really good. Really good and vibrant, y'all. Really, really vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one off. And then same thing, I'm gonna let this cool off. And so what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm gonna press it one more time. Now, honestly, this really feels like how when DTF comes out, I hate that I, there's a piece of hair. I don't know if you guys, y'all can't see that. But definitely, like if you do, you can like scrape off before you press when it's on the film, like how I showed you guys, if you had any roller marks or anything that needed to be moved, that's what you would do. But honestly, this feels very much like how that DTF um, how DTF feels when it's pressed onto the shirt. That's what it feels like. All right. Thank you, Rachel. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to press this one more time. I'm just going to press it for about 10 seconds. And actually, I'm going to turn down the temperature because 380, that's definitely going to reactivate um, the ink. And we don't want that. So I'm just going to leave it here. But I usually do a second press for all of my um, DTF prints. So we have this one. And let's do, let's peel this one and see how this looks. Now, this is the yellow with the teal. The original design, as you guys saw, this was white. But sublimation printers, we don't print um, white. So let's see. So I'm just going downward. And this is like a yellow. I forgot what type of you know, what type of material was that that we used for the fleece. I'm like, what type of material is that? But as you guys saw, that came off well. This is the film. What's left of it? No, you cannot reuse this. Okay. I would not suggest reusing any um, of the film. The powder that is on here actually comes off. Oh, this feels so good, y'all. This one, this didn't hit the floor as bad as that top one did, as bad as the butterfly did. Hey, Karen. Karen, we're still live. So this is the, and this is it on yellow. So you can, you know, do different colors. You just have to be careful. You just have to know white is not going to print out. So if you have eyes, you know, a picture and it has eyes, those eyes are going to be whatever color your material is. But it did print out on this yellow very, very nicely. Very nicely. Really like it. So I am going to, just for the, you know, just to seal it, um, and what happens when you do the second press, like right now, it feels very smooth, very, very sleek. Um, I don't know like really how to best describe it, but it's it's very smooth. Once you do that second press, the second press with DTF usually makes it be, feel a little more matte and um, makes it become a little, you know, more one with the shirt. So in the wash, it does really, really good. Um, even though let's, so let's say two washes, um, the, I can only account for two washes. Two washes, it's still, this still was fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'll throw this in the washer um, this week a few times. I'll try to get it in the washer like three times. And then next week, I'll be able to show you guys what it, um, you know, what it looks like. Even though we may be on a different topic next week, but I'll still be able to show y'all what it looks like. But it feels really, 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 really good. Really good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press these under the press for a few seconds. And I am not blinking anything tonight. I'm going to get ready and go to bed. And we're going to be having some, some um, bad weather 
because we have a, um, I guess I don't know if there's a tropical storm or hurricane brewing, but something's going on. All right, so I'm just gonna press this for about 10 seconds. Sorry, my back was in your way. So I'm just pressing it for 10 seconds. If you're doing DTF or if you're thinking of DTF, this is usually standard. Um, giving it two presses. But you always want to make sure if you're doing with sublimation, if you're doing this hack, you want to make sure you have something to protect that top so that your your platen, your top plan is protected as well as the bottom one too. But you do want to make sure because I'm telling y'all, sometimes the ink reactivates, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It has a mind of its own. I don't have any ink on here, but this is what we have. And this is the, oh, I'm like in a shadow. And this is the one that fell on the floor. Still not too bad. Uh-oh, not too bad. Look at that sparkle. Oh, I know it's not about the bling tonight, but y'all, this bling is serious. All right, so let me go ahead and do this for this one. We're just gonna go ahead. Press it. None of that ink released on the um, butcher on the parchment paper, but you do want. You really don't want to um, do sublimation and parchment paper together. I would always do um, butcher paper or copy paper, but sometimes that parchment paper can pick up ink, depending on the brand of parchment paper you have. All right. All right, so let's see. And so this is our other one. Now, the teal looks good on here, right? It's a shadow, you guys can really see the teal looks good, but again, that white doesn't show. So I will, I will see you next week. Let me remove this. Yo, I have not gotten a name for for the um for our new detail printer. We need a name. But everything looks good. Loving how it came out. Hey Roxanne, welcome. So Danny, I'm gonna throw this in the washer about three um a few times. I don't want to put a number, but I am gonna do it more than once. I'm going to Leave a note for me to throw this in the washer as well as this shirt in the washer so that we can see what it looks like on, on Friday. Now, you always want to wait before you wash anything like um, that has to do with vinyl or DTF or anything like that. I usually like to wait 24 to 48 hours. That's why I don't even like to give customers shirts right after I press. So I don't really like rush orders for that because... You know, some people like to wash their items before they wear it. And if you do something, if you have a shirt and you just press it and you, okay, everything is done, you give it to your customer and they go and they wash it right away. That's not necessarily good. Um, good for you because they'll think that, you know, you didn't use good materials or you didn't do it right when it's not recommended to wash it right away. Hey, Craft Key. Hey, Flip. Y'all, that's Flip. Hey, Brenda. Somebody got to be up next with the bling because I'm not blinging tonight, even though y'all look at this bling. This this is so sick, y'all. And I did this, so I had to do this maybe like the end of July, maybe in the middle of July, but y'all look at that. That bling, that is um, Crystal AB. 10 SS Crystal AB and Paradots. This makes me want to bling. Eve, Eve was talking about bling tonight. She had on her Finer Things shirt, y'all. And she makes me want to bling. But I'm exhausted tonight, y'all. I had a long, oh, a long week. I removed the wrong thing. Y'all see, I don't even know which one to remove. So... Everything turned out um, as expected. As y'all saw, we had a slight hiccup with that, with this film going through the, <laughs> Eve, it's all your fault. 
It's all your fault. It's all. You can't even... I'm not going to blame. I'm not going to blame tonight. I'm going to end this live at a reasonable hour because the last live we were on together, that was like five hours that I stayed on. So we. I am not going to blame. I am not going to blame Danny, really, really Danny. But as y'all saw, it's kind of difficult for the paper to go through. I put painter's tape on the back to help it go through. And even that, I still had a little hiccup, but I think my printer was just being a little bit funny with me. And yeah, but that's it. Don't let your print fall on the floor like I did if you're going to give this a try. But the colors, no, the color, it looks good. The colors look really, really good. Maybe Eve, Evie, are you going to blink? Do you feel like going back on live? I need something to do, but I don't want to do it. And I prefer to watch somebody else do it. Oh, y'all, so we have two important dates that I need you guys to remember. So Deborah Ferguson is going to be um, doing her videos, I think, October 1st. And then Lavika is going to be doing hers October 15th. Some of y'all know them. You know, some of my other members know who they are. And or um, some of y'all in the chat because I see them all, all over the place all the time. So we do have some important dates coming up. Next week, I will be here. Um, I got to see if Eve wants to hang out with me an extra night. If, this, if you hang out with me next week, Friday, this does not count as our monthly date night. This is just us hanging out together. So I just want you to remember that and to know that. Okay? But even I may be working with the X Tool M1. Um, what else do I need to tell you guys? I won't be here on the 7th. Again, that is going to be Deco Summit that Rokoma has here in Florida. So, yeah. Do you like the HTV Romp vinyl? Which I don't really use the HTV Romp vinyl, even though I have, like, I have the... So, I have the HTV Romp Clear vinyl and the HTV Romp, the clear shiny or glossy and the clear matte. So maybe I'll work on that this weekend. Maybe I won't. I have some other things that I gotta, I have to do. So I'm not really sure about that. But from what I see, it's not bad. I don't think it's, uh, from what I see, it's not bad. So I don't know. Let me check them out. I like their heat press. Even though somebody said that it only goes up to 99 seconds, I don't really sub anything um, 99 seconds like that. Or, you know, I think I don't even sub anything over a minute. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. So I don't know. But if that's a deal breaker for you, like if you're subbing ceramic or wood and you don't want to have to put it in for another press, then maybe, you know, you won't like it. But I love the heat press, even though I'm going to have to move it soon because I I need, um, I have some other stuff that I need to do on this table. But yeah. Do with the heavy hoodie. It did fine with my hoodie. Um, so I've subbed, Robin, I've done a few hoodies. I actually love hoodies. Um, and it subbed, it, it did well. It applied the right amount of pressure. I didn't have any issues with it. It's up well. Good night, Erin. Have a great weekend. Did someone win the X to a giveaway? Someone did. Um, I got to call them, though, because I need to do the announcement. So I do need to, well, I'm not calling them. I'm going to email them. Thanks, Rachel. I did not. Tomorrow is going to be the day, Janita. Tomorrow is going to be the day. I have not even seen her yet to get it. So tomorrow will be the day. This week. I know. I came back from Charlotte. And you know what, y'all? I came back from Charlotte very inspired, very motivated. Um, Yeah. It just happened to be rush week this week. And so I kind of did that. And then I had testing. Y'all, I was testing all week testing all week and so i test um 
like my tests can last a very long time because my students have accommodations. And so those accommodations mean some get extended time, extended time can mean time and a half, could be until the end of the day, that sort of thing. So at that, I had a lot going on. Sin, hey Sin, hey girl, happy Friday. So yeah, how do we get the finer things template? So the finer things template, when did I, did I get, did I, did I give that to y'all like in a, um, in a live? I don't remember right now. I think I, I, I think I gave it away in a live. I don't really have it up anymore. I was only giving it away that night. Um, and then I think I ended up giving it away when even I, so I think I gave it away two nights. Um, I don't really, I don't really sell it. Y'all, I don't sell, I don't like to sell it because I don't like headaches. <laughs> so, but that's the only reason I don't like to sell them. But I, I think I'm going to start, I think I'm going to start making sure that I sell them. Um, I'm never satisfied. And so I'll give you guys something you know, if I'm going to make it, but I'm never really satisfied with what I, I make and do. So I don't like to, to, <laughs> to sell it. It gives me a headache, but yeah, sorry, Simone, send me an email. Here's my email. Long story short, I'd like to just send me an email. Nobody else send me an email. I'm only accepting one email because I can't, I'm so far behind in my emails like ridiculously behind, embarrassingly behind. So yeah, I will, Janita, I can't wait. I'm gonna go in the morning because in the morning I have to go to this training and then but I'm gonna go by there first before the training, before the training. Yeah. So Lashanda, I don't know. Did Pro Worlds um, make an announcement today or did they unbox their Juliet that they got? I thought I saw something. And they said that they were going to um, unbox it today. But I don't know, y'all. When I be at work, I can't see anything. I can't see nothing. Donnie. V. Hargett said, new DTF printer name could be Donnie. Donnie. What is Donnie? Okay, so y'all know that XO M1 is Sybil. Donnie. All right. Thanks, V. Hargett, for the suggestion. I'm going to put that on my list. We'll talk about, let me make sure I write that down because I'm going to use this. Maybe we'll do a, um, a name contest or something. If you pick the name and somebody will, we'll see. Process of elimination. But everything turned out pretty decent tonight, y'all. It's already 8.30. That means I've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes because I was actually on time based off of my 7.10 start time. I didn't even make y'all wait long like how I usually do because I'd be so unprepared on Friday nights. Uh, thanks, Joe. Have a great weekend. Hey, NCB. Sin, Sin, how about they, how about my school has a four station screen printing machine and they just got rid of all of the ink because they said, said that it's toxic or something like that because it was in there, you know, since the big C, nobody's been using anything and the kids haven't, you know, we were doing a lot of virtual things and so they had to get rid of it. I don't know. Good night. And thanks for joining me, everybody, over on Facebook. I may try to remember to include y'all in on crafts and combos each week. We shall see. Danny, I don't know. I hope they do. I hope. What about that embroidery Friday? Okay, we'll do. We'll do, so also, some of you who were here, what were we when were we talking? Was that Saturday when we were doing the, um, the diamond painting? So we're gonna be having a thing next week, Saturday. 
Oh, okay. So we're going to be having a thing next week, Saturday. We're, we're going to be embroidering. Marilyn's going to take out her embroidery machine. We're going to be doing this on Zoom. I need to get that set up so that you guys will know. We're just going to be embroidering together um, and hanging out. Tomorrow, Eve is having her bling class. Um, I hope you guys learn a lot. I know you will learn a lot. Eve is having her bling class. I don't know if it's too late to sign up for it because it is 8.30 the night before. But if not, I would definitely head over to her website. You won't be able to get, she does have like a part of her class where you get the actual items. Like you get a, a kit to, you know, follow along with her. But um, I think there may be like a standalone portion too. So if you have all of your own materials, you might want to jump in on that and learn some of the basics because this is going to be beginner friendly. They unbox it, but yeah, Michael's is releasing it first. Oh, cool. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Cut it in action on rhinestone. <gasps> Eve, we need to cut some rhinestone flock with the um, X to M1. It can cut it. I cut it already. Um, I cut it with the leather setting, like that standard leather setting they have inside of the X tool software, but it it was too much. It cut, but it was it, it was a little bit too much pressure. So <laughs> I went from Donnie to Danny. <laughs> Donnie to Danny. Sis Marcel, it is always an honor when you are here with me. Thanks for joining us and have an amazing an amazing, an amazing weekend. Yeah, Mayor Bear. I want to see that too. See me anywhere. Cool. All right, y'all. It's been fun. I love y'all. Who's going on live next? Give me something to do. Sin, you're going. Sin, are you working? I've been missing your live. I saw. I woke up this morning and at six o'clock. Eastern Standard Time, and it was like Sin was, well, five, it was five o'clock when I woke up this morning. It was like Sin was just on live. So she was working all night. Who's going on live next? Okay, it's not too late. It's not too late, y'all. Eve put her link in the chat. It is not too late to join the Rhinestone class that she's going to be having tomorrow. You, if you are brand new to rhinestones and you are kind of on the fence about doing it, but you want to do it because y'all look at this little bling right here. Just because you see, not Eve, I'm not about to bling nothing because, but you can't even see the bling here. Let me let me turn it back over here. Let me turn this here so you guys could see. If you've been on the fence about bling, now is your time. Like. I know you like to sparkle. I know you like to shine. Or you want to make something for somebody else to sparkle and shine. And bling is not just for women. Bling is for everybody. When I was in North Carolina, this guy, every single day, I don't know if that was his brand. Um, at the hotel we were staying, he was at that hotel. Every day he had on a blinged out shirt every single day. And it looked amazing. It looked amazing. Where's Flip? Flip can tell y'all. Thank you, Roxanne. Thank you for being here. Issues with my own. Want to connect? Are you having issues with it connecting to the Wi-Fi? Next weekend, you want to do that? <laughs> Marilyn, what could even I do next weekend? <laughs> We're going to be embroidering together. <laughs> Oh, Chris, you don't know how to, Chris, now you can't miss that. <laughs> Chris, you can't, maybe we'll either Zoom or Google Meet. Chris, you can't, you can't, you can't miss it. Chris, don't, don't start nothing. It won't be nothing. You better be there next week. How can we have an embroidery session without you, Chris? You know I'm going to get something wrong. I'm going to say something wrong. I'm going to do something wrong. I'm going to thread something wrong. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah, no. Chris, you have to be there. You have to. All right, y'all. It's been fun. You got a message from Dimps? 
Hold on, where's Dimsa? I didn't even see her but you. So it's not too late. I'm having issues. Let me know, Tracy. Good night, Stacy. Good night, everybody. They don't have a wireless connection option. No, they have wireless and wired. Um, Martha, mine is a 10 watt. JV, JV, good night. I missed so much, y'all, when I scrolled all the way down. I'm sorry. Hey, JV, JV. What the shot at 6.15 today. I'm sitting here falling asleep. Get some rest, Sin. Please get some rest. Christopher, yes, I did. Yes, they bling too, Marcel. They do. And, but still, like, if you have a business, like, if you're printing shirts and things like that, and, you know, that it doesn't, you know, you don't have to just be printing designs. You can actually do some bling, you know. That should give more, give you more customers. People, you know, like me, like bling. Uh-oh, Chris. All right, y'all. I've scrolled down to the bottom. And I'm so sorry if I missed your message. I'm literally about to fall asleep sitting here at the table. I love y'all. Have an amazing weekend. Um, I'll see you guys. I think we're going to have Crafty Talk Tuesday. I kind of miss Tuesday. Something light and fun. Something like this. Nothing too drawn out. And yeah. So don't forget, East class is still available for tomorrow. Next week, Saturday, we're going to be doing a um, Zoom embroidery session, which I'm really excited about. And yeah. But I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And until next.